Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Demartini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show that's coming up right next. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. Hey! Oh, wait, I lost my little head, my little ears. My, you okay now? Yeah, I, I got right. it back on. Okay. Slipped off my shiny hair. <laughs> it happens. It happens. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying shiny head. That's not happening, but they just slipped right off there. It must be this beautiful condition. You must have some extra product in I there. do have it hasn't gotten you know what it massaged is? out properly. Do you know what I think I forgot to do today? Could be a number of things, really, if, if you want to ask me. I but. actually think that I may have forgotten to rinse the conditioner. That might have done out it. Of the, that out of the hair. That's what the product making. is left in there. You know? huh. Or it's you product. put some egg, you I didn't know, put egg the... or mayonnaise, you know. I hear that works oh. for conditioning. <laughs> it's true. Has uh, anyone not heard this before? I I've heard... got nods in the studio. Yes, oh, have I'm they? not the oh, only one. Oh, my God. I grew up with I'm olive still oil. still sane. Olive oil. That was our thing. Olive, olive oil. Well, of course, you're Italian. So, there we go. What better way, right? Cat's out of the bag. <laughs> Cat's already been out. Cat's been out of the bag. Uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome to the show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. And, um, wow, we've got a great two hours of show to, today, starting off with Michael Shane, Healing the Emotional Body. Uh, Michael is, uh, wow, you know, I, first of all, we've had some very interesting experiences with Michael, but most of all, what I want to say about him is amazing. And his journey is one that many of us take when we say yes to spirit. But today, you're going to get to chat with us. We're going to tell you all about uh, some of the upcoming events uh, which are happening. And thanks to Michael and his team, uh, they are happening at the Ascension Foundation, which is kind of great. So today, we're talking about something that's very important. And we're talking about healing the emotional body. And why is that important? Well, I'll tell you why. Up until about, I think now, I want to say 10, 10 years ago, maybe, maybe a little bit longer, but up until about that time, talking about emotions at all were not something we did well. And it wasn't until the emotional intelligence information or data came out You know, did we really start to see the conversation about emotions hit the mainstream, hit organizations? And the value of emotions, especially in the workplace, came to the forefront. Now, people in the spiritual realm, what does that mean, spiritual realm? People like Michael, right, Michael, right? We were. I'm in some realm. Yeah, we're in some. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. But we, we never really, I mean, there's an old expression at work, come to work, leave your emotions and your personal stuff at the door. But now we're understanding the, the real importance of what it means to be in that emotional realm and how the emotional body is a main, main area that is now getting a lot of attention from people that are in the field of medicine and wellness. So today we're going to take this on uh, with Michael. I, I want to tell all of you, and, and I think it's going to be important for us uh, to let you know about some of the upcoming events that are happening uh, and happening very soon. And so Brenda's going to chime in and chat about some of those. Brenda, welcome to show. Thank you, Dr. Pat. It's awesome to be here. It's good to have you here. Um, I want to ask you before we get started on the topic, you know, you guys, you started the Ascension Foundation. And it's really a place that captures the essence of what your vision and your mission is, Michael. Now, today on the show, for those of you out there, uh, you're going to get to call into the show going to be able to connect through Michael with the Ascended Master. So if you have questions, just make sure you get them ready uh, because we want to make sure that we, um, when we open up the phone lines, you know that you can call in or you can send the instant message in. But I wanted to ask you about the Ascension Foundation, both of you actually, about the Ascension Foundation. You know, was your vision to to have a place like this? 
you know, what makes you most proud of what you're doing around this so far? <clears throat> the people that I'm working with. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> that you have an amazing team. They've they've been through it all with me, and mm-hmm. they're still there. And though some of our uh, motivations are slightly different, uh, that's the part that's beautiful because it's not like this robot thing going on. And we're creating a vibration with one another of spiritual family, mm-hmm. uh, physical family, mm-hmm. or brothers and sisters. We can laugh and cry with one another and... Uh, And even from time to time, uh, put a head on a shoulder, you know. Um, Sometimes I need two or three shoulders. Right, (laughs) right. Yeah, I believe me. I I get that. I get that completely. Um, It's so important when we say yes to what we do. You know, it's kind of interesting. Uh, You know, we're going to talk about a lot of things today, but I think it really is good to set a baseline. If if implementing a spiritual practice was so easy, everyone would be in spiritual bliss right now. I mean, I had this epiphany last night. Um, And what I was reminded of, I was reminded of that there are things that we have to do to remember who we truly are. And we forget what those things are. Or they get moved to the bottom after the dishes and the laundry and the radio show and you know, softball or I don't know, then somewhere on the bottom is something about some kind of spiritual practice. And what I think I'm discovering is God, masters, Jesus, um, all of the people we're going to say, St. Germain, there's a wisdom, there's a genius, you know, there's a spiritual genius And, Michael, one of the things that you do is you help us remember that we, too, have that spiritual genius. And that's what today's show is about and the work that you do. It is to demonstrate over and over and over and over again that we are not separate from the source. But, boy, we have to keep taking this message out there because it's one of the easiest things to forget. I mean, I forget this. And I do this for a living. I forget that one point, right, more than any other thing in my life. Would I ever forget what time my radio show was on? No. Would I ever, for, right? Right. Yeah, I, I would uh, be right? surprised right. If, if you would forget that. But we're on a slippery slope here. And that's why your message is so important and what we do. Because people don't want to slide down to a way of life that they don't want. So Michael is joining us here today, and we are talking about the emotional body, but you should know who Michael is. You know, he is a trans, this is kind of cool, transphysical phenomenon medium. You're going to hear what that is today, but his life has been about connecting to the Ascended Masters. You all are going to have an opportunity today on the show to do that through him uh, and and through yourselves. So today, the platform that he's creating, what Brenda's working on, the Ascension Foundation, what it communicates and teaches um, are these beautiful messages from the Ascended Masters that we all have to be reminded of, don't we? And hence, the emotional body, which we never think about. We never think about it, but it's always there every day. It's It's that cloud, I guess you could call it, or that weight that we take with us every moment of our waking hours to even while we're sleeping because our dreams are sometimes dictated from what we're holding on to emotions. Right. So, you know, let's talk about, from your experience, what role the emotional body plays in wellness and wholeness. I believe from many years of study that the, the emotions is what controls our actions and the things that we do in our life. There's always a piece of us that, that sits back and wonders from time to time, is this it? Is this all I was meant to be? Is this all it's about? Because you know deep down inside that there's something more, something bigger that you're supposed to be doing. But you don't take a, a moment to realize it's your emotional heaviness or weight that you're holding on to that's blocking you from remembering what that is or to what's blocking you from moving forward it's, that's, that, where you're not happy in your life that will make you happy. Right. Right. I mean, you know, there are a lot of things that I think that 
causes us to move off track, especially around, you know, healing. You know, we always look to somebody else to point the finger to, right? Um, And, you know, and if we're doing that with other people, then the notion that we do that with ourselves has to be pretty strong, don't you think? Uh, Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, you know, part of this is to talk about this level of emotional healing. And when we come back from break... I um, want to make sure you know we're going to give you lots of information on the Ascension Foundation, open up the phone lines. But we're going to ask the question, you know, about what do we do? What do we do to heal the emotional body? What if you've had years of abuse? And maybe not years, maybe months. You know, what if there have been trauma after trauma after trauma? You know, what if your life, your physical body is now giving way because of this emotional burden? What is it that Michael does to help people remove anger, guilt, and fear and to truly step in to what we know is that divine connection to source? Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We're going to be doing live readings today. You will be able to connect with the masters. You have our toll-free number, 1-800-930-2819. And you know how to get us through instant message at uh, the drpatshow.com and transformationtalkradio.com. We'll be right back. The Ascension Foundation, serving to build an interdimensional community. The Ascended Masters invite you to join them in co-creating this mission. Allow the Masters to lead the way in activating the wisdom of your heart consciousness and raising your vibration. You can communicate with them directly by attending apportation events and classes in mediumship, crystal light energy healing, alchemy, master studies, past life regression, and more. For a schedule of classes, workshops, and special events, visit theascensionfoundation.com. That's theascensionfoundation.com. Tune in each Monday at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com to The Elizabeth Anglin Show, your psychic connection to your soul's path. Elizabeth takes you to the Universal Etheric Space Library, where soul records and life lesson plans are stored. This live call-in show will help you decide what your life plan is through the help of your guides and guardian angels. Visit ElizabethAnglin.com or call 1-888-640-4893 to schedule your reading with psychic medium animal communicator elizabeth anglin do you dream of being on the amazing race well here's your chance grab a friend and prepare for an exhilarating race around the city when city solve urban race comes to your city teams of two will solve clues and face fun challenges while racing around the city the winning team gets three hundred dollars and a chance to be in the las vegas championship race to compete for a grand prize of five thousand dollars not only will you have a ton of fun you'll also be helping a good cause a portion of the proceeds will benefit a local charity to start racing go to city SolveUrbanRace.com. Tune in each week on TransformationTalkRadio.com, Wednesday at 2 Pacific, 5 Eastern Time, and express and experience the infinite possibilities waiting in each and every moment as you listen to From the Heart with Elizabeth Cookson. Get ready for a packed hour of laughter, tears, and a soul full of emotions as Elizabeth raises your vibration and shifts your spirit. For more information about Elizabeth and to schedule a session, visit ElizabethCookson.com. I'm Dr. Pat Basile, the host of The Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Let me help you take your empowering message to a community of people looking for products and services that value all life on earth and tap into the one true freedom we have, the freedom to choose. Let our listeners choose you. Join the buzz and be the buzz. Sponsor the Dr. Pat Show. Call me at 206-523-5522. That's 206-523-5522. Wouldn't you love to create an abundance of enriching relationships in every area of your life? When gratitude is integrated in your life, it uplifts your own sense of well-being at a very deep level, and you attract beauty, harmony, and enriching relationships with grace and ease. Suddenly, you don't have to try and work hard. You become a magnet. Your desires start to manifest easily. Grateful souls want to support you and your purpose. You live your higher destiny. Join our Infusion of Gratitude community today and receive your free MP3 audio Infusion of Gratitude meditation. 
Daily use of this powerful 20 minutes meditation raises your awareness and welcomes health, wealth, and enriched relationships into your life. Visit us at explorationgratitude.com. Stop. Get out of that car. Stop living your life in the passenger seat. Tune in to transformationtalkradio.com and let us help you drive. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. Michael Shane is in the house. We're talking about the emotional body uh, and healing the emotional body. Michael, thank you for joining me. Brenda, thank you for joining me. Uh, Before we get into the conversation, uh, which we're going to, and, and, you know, really, the question really is, how can we heal the emotional body, even if there's been years of abuse? Uh, and, And we'll talk about what that means. Um, we also have opened up the phone lines. If you'd like to connect your question with Michael and the Masters today, he is a medium, as I said before, but a very unusual kind of medium, which I think Brenda will tell us a little bit about as she talks about the upcoming events. In order for you to get in the queue for a, a reading live today in the show, you can call us at 1-800-930-2819, one 930 Brenda, tell us about some very exciting things you're doing at the Ascension Foundation. These are very, very cool. Yeah, Michael has, uh, he's a scientifically tested. Michael's doing them too. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Tested transphysical phenomena medium, which is in mediumship, he has a, a clear connection to the masters, ascended masters, to spirit as we call it, um, the angelic realm, um, and so those messages that come through, because we're always looking at discernment of what's what's right for me or what's clear. You know, we're not sure who to go to. Um, he has a very clear connection because in the transphysical part, he steps out of the way of spirit completely out of his body and connects directly to spirit. Our spirit uses his body as a vessel. Um, so we have a lot of things coming up. Um, one of the things Michael's doing is he's running a special this month for $80. You can come in for three crystal light energy healings. And when you're talking about the emotional body, that's, that's exactly what that works on. It clears out that emotional body. Buddha brought this um, modality to him. It's the use of, of sound, of uh, oils, and of crystals. Mm. And it's a three-part a series of three helping to you know, loosen up that emotion that we've kept so tight right? so that we can have clarity. And then he does a past life regression after that so we can see those connections that are still keeping us held. Wow. So he's doing all of this for for what? For $80. He's doing the healing? All three. Mm -hmm. And the past life regression? Yes. For $80? Yes. What a gift. It is a gift. What a gift. Wow. That was a, a St. Germain idea. I was just going to wonder which one of them put you up to that, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? I mean, it was like St. Germain or was it Jesus or who was it? Uh, so how do people uh, sign up for that? Um, they call our 800 number and we'll That's get like them scheduled. That's like a $500. That's a $380 right, um, right, reduction. Right. Oh, well, well yeah. Okay. And for Michael um, and the masters, the point is it really is time for us to heal. It really is time for us yeah, to is. move that emotion yeah, away so agree. that we can uh, get out of that action, reaction, cause and effect. I couldn't um, agree with you more. Yeah, situation. So what's the phone number that they should call to schedule that? Because I would imagine that we are going to get that. He, Michael's going to get very busy here. How should how can they call to schedule that for $80? Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Deal. That's like a movie and popcorn. I know. Uh, it's just amazing. Unless you're a senior, I found out that you had a discount. <laughs> okay. um, our, our phone number to get scheduled is 800-508-6437. And um, we hope that as many people as possible that okay. really are in financial crunch can get in there and, and, and start Give feeling that better. one more time. It's one 800 508 
6437. Sweet. To and schedule. they can leave a message too. Yes, and yes. we will get them scheduled. Okay, good. Um, we have a, uh, other events coming up um, on the 17th. Jesus comes into Michael's body. It's a $5 session. He takes about three minutes and gives a message usually. Um, it's for charity. Um, we donate the money to Children's Fund and are going to do coats and toys for Christmas for kids. So that's an amazing event on the 17th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And people can always go to our website, too, and, and under our events tab and check these out if they... Okay. And that is, and let's make sure everybody has the website. It's www.michaelshane.com, and that's M-Y-C-H-A-E-L-S-H-A-N-E.com. Great. Dot com. Great. Mm-hmm. And then on the 18th, Michael is doing a introduction to the Crystal Light Energy Healing cl- class. He's going to do a class to teach people what Buddha has taught him. Um, and that's a, a $20 class, too. And it's a for energy workers, anybody who wants to open up that doorway to a new modality that really helps shake up that emotional mm-hmm. body and clear mm-hmm. it out. Right. Um, that's a great opportunity, too. Um we're doing a lot of things within the community with other people. We have uh, Jeannie Anderson, who does Reiki, and um, Deb Tijan, who does massage. Um, Brian? I, I would like to, to uh, reiterate on that. Uh, Debbie Tijan, uh, she went through my Crystal Light Energy Healing class. Yeah. Uh, a six-week workshop. Yeah. And she had an A++. Wow. I mean, she, w- she was the highest uh, grade in the room, and she's very intent on it. And her massage work is great. Wow. And the, the Reiki that Jeannie does is amazing. I've had Reiki before, but I've never had anyone that's done Reiki on me get an endorsement from St. Germain, who is all about energy moving. Wow. And uh, he's telling me that she's just absolutely Oh, that's amazing. fabulous. That is fabulous. So it's a community working together. Um, Brian Roberts and Karen Cortier work with Diamond Heart Energy, um, and they have an event on the 12th at 5 p.m. Every Wednesday, or every other Wednesday, I'm sorry, um, Karen comes in and does a goddess circle, really working with that feminine. Oh, sweet. Yeah, getting women back um, in line energy-wise. Um, Katrina Head and Joshua Shapiro have an event with um, Dr. Linda Hostelek this Friday, actually, at uh, okay. 7 o'clock. So there's there's so much Fine. to be done, Good. and there's so many different modalities. Good. Well, just go to the website, michaelshane.com, M-Y-C-H-A-E-L, shane.com. Before we go to the phones, let's talk about emotional healing, Michael. Uh, and you know, let's talk about it from, you know, what it is. And can you really heal? Can you really go back and heal these emotional scars that uh, we may have gotten from a lot of different places? Yes. <laughs> um Really, to use myself as an example, I would say that the emotional scarring is a temporary vibration or energy. It's there with inside of our emotions of things that we experience, like your father telling you that you'll never amount to anything when you're a little you know, three-, four-year-old child. And because that's someone that you look up to and, and that you believe in and love and is supposed to love you, you become... If you hear it enough times, you become to believe it. So that's just one aspect. But when you when you really go through life, we we tend to, for some reason, hang on to the both negative and positive experiences of our lives. But we tend to overshadow the positive, giving the more of the power to the emotion or the negative of this. And yes, so you can, and everyone will eventually heal. From those scarring from the emotions. So, you know, look at, we've got a lot of strange things going on. You know, there are people that are are walking around, people like you and me. You know, we have this really weird idea about who the people are that are being wounded or in abusive relationships. We really do. You know, we believe they're a certain segment of the world and, and certain population. And they're really not. People are being wounded every day in a lot of different ways. And so, you know, I wanted to talk with you about why this healing process is so important, because think about it. I mean, I'm not just talking about somebody that lives with an abusive spouse or an abusive partner. I mean, if you're living with an abusive spouse or an abusive partner, it's almost impossible to keep your vibration high. You have to go at it 24-7. You know, how do I know? I know from experience. 
You know, it doesn't matter how many times you get on your knees. You, you know, there are triggers every day. Is there is the unexpected nature of that uh, of that situation? And boy, if you are not on it, and then you still have to go get cleared. So let's talk about why this is important and how it leads to physical illness. Well, it, it is important because I mean, when we're in those abusive relationships, it's it's also just as hard to leave them. <sighs> you know, and you, you wonder why is a friend of yours still with this individual that's abusive abusive to them. And the truth of the matter is, the emotions is very, very powerful. And they never seem to be a balance that goes one way or another. And so when you get deep down into your emotions, you start to realize that this is what is holding you back. This is what is blocking you from moving forward. And so you allow someone to go back into those feelings and those emotions where you will do your own self-work and see and face what it is that's there. And you'll see it on a conscious, a heart consciousness and an emotional consciousness level. This stuff. And the unique thing is that what's happening today is in the past, our stuff seems to come up you know, dealing with stuff here or there. Yeah, exactly. But now it's all piling up on yeah, us. Yeah, I'm telling you, it all is a pile up. And it that really is... is. It reminds me of living in Jersey and all of those landfills that got <laughs> stuff dumped in them. No, I'm serious. I, right down the street from me, I used to play in what we called the lot. Just yes. all sorts of stuff dumped in there. Yes. And that, again, is one of the big things about the crystal light energy um, healing and this it's special Michael's running right. is because that's what it does. It loosens that up so we can see those connections. We may be reacting to, you know, somebody that's talking to us right now, but our emotional body is tied to that uh, father, you know, saying we'll never amount to anything. So we're carrying right. that forward and to yeah. disperse that is what's really, really important right now. It's and excellent. And let's not forget the stuff we carry in from other experiences. And other lives. Yes. Yeah. And don't you think we do, boy? We I'll do. I'll tell you. You know, and, and you asked a question about how important is it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I mean, how do you answer a question like that? You know, um, important, it's the basis of your life. It's, mm-hmm. it's do we want to go through life? wandering around in that stagnant pool? Or do we want to go through life swimming around happy, loving, and caring, and and feeling love and realizing that we're part of this world, that we have a worth? Or or do you not want to feel that way? Right. You know, so it's it's more important than you can possibly, uh, you know, give a definition to. It's just absolutely amazing. The thing is, just recently, I've had a, um, a reminder that... We're constantly going through healing. Mm-hmm. That stuff is there, and things happen in our lives that that stimulates our own stuff. And it's kind of nice when that stimulation occurs that there's someone that you can go and talk with, and, right. and that has uh, a key to that right. door. Yeah. And here's what I want to say. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. And uh, Tammy and Mary Beth will get right to you. Uh, rage. <laughs> Is not a healthy expression. No, it is not. Of emotions. They're not. No. Blaming other people. Not a healthy expression of emotion. Cussing up a storm. I don't know. That might be. I'm not sure. We'll come back with Michael and the Dr. Pat show. And uh, we're talking about, you know, healing the emotional body. We're taking your calls. We're taking your information and instant feedback. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Do you feel like you need proven leadership because your life is losing its desired direction? Do you need affordable private coaching that will work for you and your schedule? If you've ever felt stuck in an uncomfortable life situation, here's the answer. Based on years of experience in life coaching, Lisa Phillips has written the amazing coaching DIY do-it-yourself manual. If you haven't heard of Lisa Phillips yet, you should. She's a certified neuro-linguistic programmer, and she regularly contributes to top self-improvement magazines around the world. Many people know what they would like to change in their lives, but don't have the knowledge or the resources on how to do something about it. This book reveals everything you need to know, from achieving exciting goals to identifying and releasing toxic emotions 
With Lisa's ebook, everyone can easily take action to feel good right away. Get your copy now at amazingcoaching.com.au. That's amazingcoaching.com.au. Have you ever wanted to join a yoga class yet felt self-conscious or simply didn't have the time? Now you can bring live kundalini yoga into your home with KRI certified Dr. Ann Taylor. You will learn a scientific technology of movement, mantra, meditation, and breathing techniques designed to balance your mind, body, and spirit. Sign up today for our free newsletter and receive your first class free. Visit Ann with an E, Taylor.com. Going under the knife for spinal surgery should be your last resort. Get a copy of this free special report, What Your Doctor Doesn't Want You to Know About Back Surgery. Get the report online at wellnessone.net or call them toll-free at 866-499-7509. Read the report. It will take about eight minutes in order to make a better informed decision about your back pain. Visit wellnessone.net or call 866-499-7509. Oh, aren't you tired of the same old negative vibe? Hey, Valerie, have you heard about TransformationTalkRadio.com? No, what's that? Dr. Pat is launching a new network. and she... Dr. Pat? Dr. Pat. How many hours is she going to be on? It won't be all Dr. Pat. She'll be joined by her friends, transformative hosts from around the globe. TransformationTalkRadio.com is a 24-7 network. 24 hours of Dr. Pat and her guests? No, 24 hours of Dr. Pat and her hosts. Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. Where is it going to be broadcast? You're going to be able to hear her in Seattle, Boston, Connecticut, New York, Rhode Island, on over 300 cable radio stations, and on the Internet everywhere. Listen live at TransformationTalkRadio.com. Great, we should spread the word. Absolutely, spread the word. Go to TransformationTalkRadio.com. What if someone could show you how to tap into vibrant health in 90 minutes? What if someone could have you listening to and following your heart's desires? What if someone could have you feel deep and abiding freedom throughout every cell of your being? What if someone could tap into your inherent abundance easily and effortlessly? Alina Frank is that someone. Alina can help you clear anything that energetically stands in your way from attaining the health, wealth, and freedom you were born to enjoy. Using EFT tapping, set yourself free with EFT. Why wait for a miracle when you can tap your power now? Visit www.tapyourpower.net. That's www.tapyourpower.net. Welcome back. Welcome back to the show. Today we're talking about healing the emotional body. Michael Shane's joining us here, Brenda, as well. And for most of you that are going to be connecting with the Ascension Foundation or uh, scheduling, you will get to know Brenda up close and personal as well. Um, you know, Michael and, and Brenda, let's talk about this and, and, and this level of emotional healing. You know, we've we've learned we have this thing that's called the human potential movement. And we've had it for almost a century now, and it's been in, in that kind of realm. Um, and um, so part of this is, you know, we go to these workshops, we, uh, y- you know, learn some tools and techniques, and basically we end up replacing what really needs to be done with some new jargon or, you know, what do you say when you're in an emotional state? But we forget that... If we only connect with the mind and not with the heart and the emotional body and spirit, you could be saying all the gibberish you think you're saying to clear yourself, and you are a an accident waiting to happen. That's I agree. That's true because, again, like you said, you're you're training the mental body, the emotional mo- or the mind, but you're not clearing the emotions. The emotions right. are still there. Right. And we be, we become aware of that as our life goes 
forward. You know, mm-hmm. things happen to us in our lives that remind us, oh, I'm not happy about that. You know, um, the details of what to do. When I'm putting someone on the table for a crystallite energy healing, which basically opens them up to being ready to do a, a regression, I'm moving energies around right right into certain specific areas of their bodies. Mm-hmm. And nine times out of ten, if I'm saying something about a certain area of the body, the person goes, that's the area I'm having problems. You know, they'll say, oh, I've been having problems with my liver. How come you spent ten minutes working on that? You know, because I can see these energies that are uh, creating issues or blockages throughout their body, even right down to the the physical cellular level. Yeah. Um, As an example, a scientist uh, had leukemia, and I was in a trance state going in and looking while I was hooked up to all their little wires and stuff. Concoctions, yeah. Yes. This was at HeartMath Institute in California. Uh And... This scientist got up out of his chair and he was all white. He says, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. He just described my leukemia. And I didn't know what leukemia looks like. I was just describing these things that I was seeing in his bloodstream. And uh, he never told anybody he had leukemia other than his wife. So it was a surprise to him that I could see that. Um, And so when we're going in there and we see the leukemia, then there are etheric cords that go I don't, interdimensionally outward uh, to specific areas of our life or past lives that's causing that problem, an experience. And I don't remember what the, what the problem was that, that I saw it attached to at the time. But it could be someone that's, that's afraid of, of loud noises and, and uh, being on a, on a, on a ship and I go back and I'll see a past life where they were on a sail ship uh, during, let's say, the, the, the Spanish or the uh, French Revolution. And there's, and there's cannon sounds going on and, and uh, the ship sinks and everybody dies. And here's this person afraid of water and, and shell shock. Right. And has never been, to a, been in a war in this lifetime ever for that to happen. Right. And I'm going back and finding that. And I get them to see it, live through it. And we use energies, colors, and vibrations to have them remove it. I love this because, you know, there are machines now that have come out uh, that have been developed. Uh, they're based on frequency. And it's so interesting that we have this technology in these machines, but we forget that we also have the ability to do this. Let's take a caller. Let's go to the phone and uh, let's, hear, let's see what we can do for Tammy. Hey, Tammy, welcome to the show. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How can we help you today? Yeah, uh, so I am. I do Reiki as well. I practice Reiki, and I'm able to help others heal, but not myself. And so, trying to figure out the uh, the connection between uh, my fibromyalgia, which has turned into lupus, and the fact that I I don't want it, but I'm unable to get to the root of it myself. I also do hypnotherapy and past life regression, but I can't do it on myself, and so mm-hmm. I'm just it's, it's one of those things where I'm able to help others, but I need to get to the root of what I have so that I can heal that. Yeah, the before, before Michael starts, let me just say something. All of us mm-hmm. that do this work, we are like in the same boat. Yeah. yeah I'm serious. <laughs> sure. yeah, and as a matter yeah. of fact, Michael, maybe you'll address this and Bre- or Brenda. That's why more than anyone else, people like you that help other people need to be getting help for yourself often, right? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, now, ever since I began learning to do this, I had to go through my own healing process because you can't help others if you don't help yourself. But in this particular situation, you're going to drive yourself crazy trying to figure out how to read yourself, to, to heal yourself on that level where you're helping other people. Uh, in the process of your Reiki and, and regression work, uh, helping others c- sometimes creates a situation where their stuff helps you through your stuff. Okay, but there's a little bit more, quite a bit more than that to to connect to your own ter- internal self. You are not alone. Um, there isn't any way that you're going to be able to to work on your own stuff because your emotions are going to interfere 
with the outcome. And I had a gentleman in California who put me through the regression work and the energy work, and it's amazing. But you, but the turnaround, you, you, you start to think, oh, I can do this on myself, <laughs> and you can't because you, you, you find yourself in an emotional quandary. All right, you get in the way of yourself is what I is how I describe it. Yes, yeah, so that, that's the best way to describe it. Um, so mm-hmm. you're going to have to to uh, see someone to uh, mm-hmm. to to help you into that. Right. And, and, and this isn't a, a situation where we're going to snap a finger and everything is fine. There, there's a lot of work to do in all okay. of our uh, situations. So um, I'm available. <laughs> yeah, I, okay. I, would, I, I would suggest you you give um, Brenda a call. And have Michael customize something for you. Uh, Very but, good. Yeah, because, you know, you want to continue to be the healer that you were meant to be. Right. I want to continue to, to be the messenger that I was meant to be. And honestly, you know, you get to a point in time, hopefully not too late in the game, where you realize that, you know, there's some help that we both need that is of a different nature. You see what I'm saying, uh, Tammy? Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. And this is the best time to see Michael and do the three crystal light energy oh, yeah. sessions and the past life regression for oh. $80. That's beautiful. Yeah, tell right. me. No, that's amazing. Isn't yeah. that crazy? That's, uh, Can you believe yeah. that? <laughs> wow. Now, My- St. Germain is tuning in with me right now, and um, he's basically saying to me that you are like right there, right there. I mean, for all of the things that you've ever wanted. All the things that you ever wanted to do for others is right there. It's coming. And that's why the, a lot of the stuff that's going on in your life right now um, is happening all at once is because you get rid of it all at once. So you can do the things that you wanted to do and have that happiness, that missing piece that hasn't been there. Mm-hmm. That's great. I, I feel that there's a big, uh, there's a shift. There's something brewing. So that's good. <laughs> It is good. So thank you. It is good. And, you know, there is uh, writings by Catherine Ponder that explain this process, and it's called chemicalization. You know, we in our society, we hear the expression, well, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Well, she explains this, especially through the work of, through the Christ consciousness and the work of Jesus about chemicalization. Um, and, you know, all of the spiritual teachers have gone through it. You know, all of the St. Germains and, you know, Jesus and all these, yeah, right, Buddha, everybody, Carol all Mons- of them. Hanzo, exactly. Yoga. Yeah. Yep. So we're just right in that gang. Tammy, thank you so much. Write that number thank down, you. okay? You got it. Thank you so all much. All right. You bet. I love that. Benny, can we skip our break and just keep going? That would be good. Uh, let's go to Mary Beth. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Oh, I'm doing great. <laughs> How can uh, I'm Michael help you to today? Talk to all of you. Yeah, thank you for hanging on there for a bit. Thank you. You're you're over in oh, my no, neck of the fine. woods. Oh, good. I'm glad you're close by because I'm coming to see you. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look forward to seeing you. That's funny. So, what can I help you with today? Well. I I have kind of a career question. I'm kind of in the same predicament as the other woman. The more I do healing on other people, the more I seem to pick up. And um, uh, I just have this real heavy, heavy feeling, almost like pregnancy and this anxious feeling like, you know, something's on the horizon. (laughs) But I'm like, okay, what is it? And... um, so I kind of had like a career, if you see anything to do with my career changing or. Definitely do see your like career that. changing. It, 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 it's more I'm than. Sorry? I do definitely see that your career is changing. And it's not just okay. changing. It's it's going in a whole nother different direction. Um, and this is more in, in the, the realm of of helping others. Okay. Um, in right. a in a healing uh, aspect where people can actually connect to their what you're feeling like right now you're feeling this 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 thing you can't really describe it but it's a thing there that says hmm something wonderful is coming what you can see the rays of the sun coming over the mountain but that's it just the rays but you know it's coming and it's about to hit the top of the mountain 
and you're going to be helping people do that um, to connect to That's that. That's awesome. And so when you uh, – I will see. What is, what is she saying? Uh, Lady Nada is telling me that in about a two-week period to three weeks – and here's a here's time for you. Um, you're going to start to realize exactly what is coming up over the the horizon there for you, uh, and it's it's oh, wonderful. only can be described as absolute bliss. The the feeling that you would have is God holds you in your arms. Um, it's it's just undescribably beautiful uh, from what I'm being told your whole world is going to move into a different direction. There's even a possibility that you might even move or at least do a lot of traveling in this situation. There's also a book that she's telling me about uh-huh. that, you, that you're going to be writing, um, and it's going to be okay. one that will be uh, accepted by uh, both um, mainstream and metaphysical spiritual modalities. So, um, So there's that. Okay. So, any any questions on that? Um, no, it just made me very emotional. Yeah, I, I just we could. I think we could all feel that, right? Yes, and that's yeah. the, the, the mm-hmm. now the relationship situation is also uh, going to be uh, the cat's meow, so to speak. That's a well. good thing, right? A relationship. Yes. Yeah, yes. relationship. A relationship for me or for you oh okay <laughs> does that seem <laughs> kind of lady. does that seem kind of impossible for you yeah in the situation that i i mean i've been divorced since 1999 and i've never gone on a date it was very like traumatic <laughs> and stuff and i've just kind of poured my life into helping mm. other people taking care of elderly people but studying all different types mm. of healing and doing that kind of on the side but I I just am so ready to help people mm-hmm. that I can actually help now yeah well imagine meeting a, a gentleman an individual that is doing exactly the same thing you are with the same kind of heart vibration the same kind of dreams and wishes. Yeah. Coming into your life, I, I cannot honestly see that you would say, ah, I'm not interested. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, I wouldn't. And that's what I've said to people. I said, you know, it would have to be that type of person because right. I'm not going to give up. You know, I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not going to give this up and, and help them build their business again. Yeah. You what know is what up mean? with that? <laughs> yeah. I, I, what yeah, is up with that? Yeah, you know, yeah. you are so done with that. <clears throat> You don't I actually, am. you know I what, am. I'm going to give you a little advice, and then what I'm going to suggest that you do is you call Brenda and get yourself scheduled for... Um, oh, I'm calling Brenda. Yeah, oh my gosh, because you, <laughs> you need to clear Are out that... Are you going to give the phone number? Yeah, we're going to give you the... Go ahead, give it the phone number right now. Yeah, it's 1-800-508-6437. And these are three separate, Wonderful. very special uh, gifts uh, and healings that Michael's doing, Um but here's what you got to do around that, that, that thing. Even right now, come to this place where you don't even have to think that thought anymore about I'm not going to give up my life. I'm not going to build that for somebody. I'm not. Gonna. You know why? Give that up. Because even withholding on to that, what it does is it has a hook in you, Right. Okay. Yeah, and, right. and and let's just start you on your path today. You don't need to say that anymore because honestly, right, Michael, her vibration is so not there and going to attract that at all. It's it's heightened. I mean, it, it, it won't it won't serve her in any way. Right, but there's no but but you already have put drawn a line in the sand on that one, sister. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you don't even yes. have to think about it. And you know, the idea is to have no reaction. I know that sounds a little benign but the idea is to have no Uh reaction and so you're well on your way michael is going to clear a whole bunch of stuff out for you boy it's going to be fun oh good it's going to be fun because you know most of us most of us have been living in the landfills you know and you know what it's like to have that thought right that i've had enough yeah that's it 
totally. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you, yeah. Mary Beth. Yeah, you, you're, you know, you're, oh, yeah, thank you're ready. Thank you. Yeah, this is going to be yeah. sweet. All right. Thank you. Your show is such a blessing. Thank you. I can't wait. You Now, you have to promise, okay? You with me? After you go do, you know, do, you do your thing with Michael, and then, you know, when you meet this relationship person, you have got to tell us and call in. I will. All right? That's not if. You notice I didn't say if. I said when that happens, no, you call us. No, no. Uh, I will. So I said, thank you so much, and have a blessed day. Thank, thank you. you. God bless. All right. One more call. Let's, let's do it. All right. Let's <laughs> do it. This is so good. Suzanne. Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm, you know, I'm just okay. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I would just like to know why I'm here and why I feel so hopeless about my About your life, right? Yeah, about her life. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, I'm assuming this isn't a feeling that just appeared out of nowhere, correct? Yes, yes. February 1st. It did, it did just appear out of nowhere, or didn't? It did. That's why I said I'm did. assuming this didn't no, it just did. appear. No, it did, yeah. It just yeah. popped up on February I've 1st. Never, well, let me give you a it little... Did. I've uh, never felt like... I, I have an easy answer for you, and I've been telling people this right. since since before 2012, probably around the middle of 2011. All of the things that we have been holding on to on an emotional level that's not conducive to our moving forward in life, everything, Uh even the stuff we don't even know that's there that's been buried down in that cellular memory, way deep, Uh is all surfacing and coming on top of all of us at once. So your feelings that that you're having is all the stuff that's ever you've ever held on to from any experience from this lifetime to others is all piling up on you at the same time. And it's doing that in such a manner where you're like looking for answers. And when you find the direction, then you'll start dealing with it all. And one of those directions is to go deep into your emotions and see, don't just think about, but to actually see with your heart, mind, consciousness, the experience. So you can, Look at it, face it, and release it, which is what I do with our crystal light energy healing and my regression work. You know, I'm not sure that I can go back and face everything. Well, we wouldn't be like... Does that make sense? Yes, I do. And, and when I say that things are piling all at once, you still have to deal with each individual item one at a time. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't want to over overpower yourself with all this stuff too quickly because that could be more damaging than not. Does that make sense to you? Uh, yeah. So can I ask you a question? Uh-huh. Okay. So, if, you know, you don't want to go back and deal with all of the things from your past, right? Which also means that you're... Uh, I- you're acutely aware that these things are still part of your vibration and probably still cellularly with you, correct? Yeah. Yeah. That's the first step. That's the first step in a healing journey. See, you are way ahead of the curve and you don't even know it, right, Suzanne? Yeah. Yeah. Because most people yeah. that would be, you know, like talking here on the show, they would be like, uh, oh, you know, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know, oh, just February 1st, you got some black fairy dust on you or something. <laughs> but you see, you already know. <laughs> right? right? Right. Yeah. Like I was right. talking about that on my eight o'clock show this morning about the fairy dust. Uh, that's my new excuse for everything, by the way. <laughs> that's it. I just All say, right. oh, last night I got I got some good gold fairy dust or I got some black fairy dust doesn't matter okay so here's what I want to have you acknowledge and give yourself credit for because this could be going to be great when you work with Michael um you know you're carrying a lot of weight with you yeah, yeah somehow someplace in your history February 1st had meaning somewhere some lifetime this lifetime and it doesn't even have to be the date 
it could be something you did with someone that is under the sign of Aquarius, right? I mean, there's a uh-huh. lot of little dots to connect, but you are way ahead of the curve because you know what you said? You already acknowledged, A, I've got a lot of stuff I'm carrying around, and B, I do not want to eat that whole pizza right now. That's 50% <laughs> of res- resolution right It is. There. It's 50% of the resolution. Mm-hmm. But there's a, there's a great yeah. quote that I use a lot on the show. Resistance to the disturbance is the disturbance. <laughs> that, yeah. yeah. We ought to get T-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. So you can take on as much of the healing journey as you want. You see what I'm saying? That's what I love about free will. Does that make sense to you? Uh, I want to heal. Yes. Yes. And Bobby tells me, yes. and that's who Lady Nada is, I call her Bobby, says to me that you do have the power and the will to resolve this. Okay. Well, let's give out your phone number one more time so that, Suzanne, thank you so much for joining us today, so that everybody knows how to schedule this session. Actually, it's a three-part session with Michael. That's four actually part. four. Yeah, with thank the you. progression. Yeah. It's 800-508-6437. Eight hundred five zero eight six four three seven. Wow, Michael Shane, everybody, go to the website michaelshane.com. Thank you all for listening today. Oh, absolutely! Thank you all for tuning us in, turning us on. We're going to take a shorty, and we'll be right back with the show. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Our hosts are setting a new standard for a fresh kind of talk radio, creating conversations that are transforming the world, one listener at a time. Transformation Talk Radio's mission is to broadcast a distinct blend of live talk radio interviews with a mix of uplifting and intelligent news, educational and practical information. Topics range from personal development to critical issues relevant to a rapidly changing world. Stay tuned. Transformation Talk Radio starts at the top of every hour. Do you feel like you need proven leadership because your life is losing its desired direction? Do you need affordable private coaching that will work for you and your schedule? If you've ever felt stuck in an uncomfortable life situation, here's the answer. Based on years of experience in life coaching, Lisa Phillips has written the amazing coaching DIY do-it-yourself manual. If you haven't heard of Lisa Phillips yet, you should. She's a certified neuro-linguistic programmer, and she regularly contributes to top self-improvement magazines around the world. Many people know what they would like to change in their lives, but don't have the knowledge or the resources on how to do something about it. This book reveals everything you need to know, from achieving exciting goals to identifying and releasing toxic emotions. With Lisa's ebook, everyone can easily take action to feel good right away. Get your copy now at amazingcoaching.com.au. That's amazingcoaching.com.au. Have you ever wanted to join a yoga class yet felt self-conscious or simply didn't have the time? Now you can bring live kundalini yoga into your home with KRI certified Dr. Ann Taylor. You will learn a scientific technology of movement, mantra, meditation, and breathing techniques designed to balance your mind, body, and spirit. Sign up today for our free newsletter and receive your first class free. Visit Ann with an E, Taylor.com. Going under the knife for spinal surgery should be your last resort. Get a copy of this free special report, What Your Doctor Doesn't Want You to Know About Back Surgery. Get the report online at wellnessone.net or call them toll-free at 866-499-7509. Read the report. It will take about eight minutes in order to make a better informed decision about your back pain. Visit wellnessone.net or call 866-499-7509. 